Welcome to Guns and Gear Network, everyone. Appreciate you tuning in. Today we're going to take a look at a collapsible E-Tool from Tac Niner. Stay tuned. Welcome back guys, appreciate you tuning in. So today we're going to take a look at a uh, new e-tool that I got in from Tac Niner. They contacted us to see if we want to do a review and I'm going to do a tabletop style review for you guys today. Uh, there's been other uh, reviewers that have done uh, reviews about this so if you want to just search that in the search box, the Tac Niner uh, e-tool or collapsible shovel, however you want to search it, uh, you should be able to find some other reviews if you want some other details that uh, I may not cover. So. Um, Price point on this twenty four ninety nine uh, Amazon. They uh, do they do sell through Amazon, and I have in the section below down there, like I've talked about before, I'll have my Amazon store, and I'll also have a link to this particular uh, e tool. So when we think e tools, we think camping, overlanding, survival, uh, even beach trips. Uh, I have one of these uh, that I've used, a different one that I take to the beach every year. My kid loves digging in the sand, looking for things. Uh, your guys that may do uh, metal detecting. So it has a lot of usage and this particular style is very similar to uh, one of the military uh, versions. There's a bunch of different e-tools out and different types. Uh, but they sent me this over for review for me to take a look at and that's what we're going to do today. So comes in this box here uh, tells you a little bit about it tells you uh, a little bit about what it's made of high carbon steel um, you know different features about it and so forth and let's take a look it does come with this nice carry case this right here is I don't I should have grabbed it but I don't have uh, have it here in front of me I have one exactly like this very similar in concept and design that the US military used to use so uh, for you guys that was in the military this right here probably looks familiar and um, this right here is made of a very thick, very thick, nice plastic type material. It's uh, not like a hard plastic because it is soft and pliable. So it's almost like, um, almost kind of a rubber and uh, plastic mixed. It has the old Alice clip uh, style keepers uh, which uh, are fine these are here that style has been around forever so uh, that works on belts and you can figure out a lot of different ways but you just slide your belt through there and then uh, clip it into the spots there and the good thing about these if you would ever have a problem with these these look standard military size you could uh, mini army navy surplus store carries something like this you might could rig up something to uh, actually work on molly if you choose to do that so um, let's take a look brass snaps folds over it does have uh, holes and it also has a drain hole on the bottom in case water would get in it it would drain out let's take a look so it folds up like this uh, configuration in this size so what you would do is unfold it completely if you wanted to do that in this type uh, setup for just straight digging. You can also turn it like this if you wanted to have it where you were going to kind of use it as a uh, shovel, I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, a hoe uh, type configuration, that kind of thing. But what it does has a locking collar, so you would take and screw this down like this. And when you do that, it actually locks the handle and everything together. So there's only one way to lock everything down, and that's this. This handle here, a lot of people wonder about that. Sometimes uh, that, that's a weak spot. This is actually uh, metal, this right here. The whole thing is constructed of metal. There's no plastic anywhere on this. I think even this locking collar, that's metal too. So that's nice basic spades type uh, design. These are not sharp like with an edge, like a cutting edge. You could go in if you wanted to and sharpen those even more, but they are not uh, really sharp or anything. So if you wanted to go in and sharpen those up, I guess you could do that. Um, I prefer to use the tools that are specific. Uh, like in other words, I would use a saw. I wouldn't use my shovel to cut something. But if you wanted to do that, you could. Again, this edge here, not sharp. If you wanted to sharpen that, I guess you could. But uh, let's look at the overall length of this. Grab my tape measure. So what you're looking at overall length is 23 inches when expanded open. And we'll take a measurement of it 
when it is collapsed. This thing feels very solid uh, in the hand. It does not feel cheap or anything. It uh, everything feels solid. Uh, it has it doesn't have like pins. It actually has steel bolts running through to hold it all together. So that's not like some kind of pin system that would be that would break or that's proprietary that you'd have to fumble around. If that would ever break or you would need to replace that, you could replace that with a like bolt. So let's fold it all back up. Take another measurement. So you're looking at a collapsed measurement of about a little over nine inches, like nine and an eighth, and then we'll measure it in the case. So some people worry about weight, so let's check out the weight of this. Put it back in here. Simple design, just slides back in. You snap it closed. Let's check out the weight. Make sure it's zeroed out. So what we're looking at, let's see if I can get it to stand up. So 47, I'm sorry, 46.98 ounces. So you might as well say 47 ounces is what this weighs. So it's not light, um, but if you know, this is one of those tools, if you really need one, you need one. So something like this would work uh, really well, I think. I was very, very happy with it uh, as far as quality goes when I got it. Now, obviously, the proof's in trying to test it. I uh, have not got to that uh doing that yet but uh, i don't see any reason why this would uh, fail uh, under normal use i've seen reviewers go out and take something and do things with it it really wasn't designed to do and break items whether it be a knife whether it be a shovel something i can break whatever tool you give me i can break an anvil if i wanted to it's just the way you know just the way it is but if you use it like it's supposed to i don't think i don't foresee any problems with this based on um just me knowing uh, tools and, and good quality and things like that i think for the price point that they have this at at just 25 dollars including shipping uh would be a good addition for you guys uh, everybody needs a, a, some type of shovel uh, in your car, whatever, attach it to your bug out bag. Again, taking it to the beach. Maybe you guys that are doing prospecting, uh, going around and doing a little gold panning or something like that, want to scoop up some stuff, but not to carry a big shovel with you. You know, scoop up some material to put in a little uh, gold pan to uh, do some uh, things like that. Uh, this right here would work well for that. And then it all collapses back down to be compact and uh, small to put in a small space for travel and things like that. But anyway, guys, I want to thank Tac Niner for sending this out. I think it's a great fit uh, for you guys that are looking for something like an e-tool. This right here would be a good one to get. But anyway, guys, if you uh, like to take a look at the Amazon store down there, check it out. If you got any questions, post those below. If you got any comments, uh, post those. If you got any experience with something like this or this particular e-tool, be sure to share that with us. That's always helpful. And as always, guys, like, share, and subscribe. Bring another video shortly. Have a great day.